Hello friends and fashion lovers, you are welcome back. Thank you for all your love and your support and thank you for clicking on this video. I really appreciate In today's tutorial, I'll be showing you how to make this lovely dress. Yes, just the dress. My name is Esther and I love to sew for ladies and young ones. If any of that sounds like your thing, please consider subscribing to the channel, turn on the notification bell so that you get notified each time I upload a new video. And thank you so much for doing so. For this tutorial, I used three and a half years of plain satin fabric. I didn't finish it though. I used buttons, but you can use zipper. And I also use a baby dress pattern. Yes, the link to this baby dress pattern will be in the description box. You just check that out and it will take you there so that you can draft to your baby size. Putting my fabric on fold for my bodice. Yes, for both the back and the front. For this tutorial, I am not going to be using a zipper. As I said earlier, I am going to be using a button at the back. So I didn't bother adding any zipper allowance. So I encourage you to add a zipper allowance to yours. So here I just pin it in place and go ahead and cut. One more thing to note is that my pattern has a seaming allowance. So ensure that yours has a seaming allowance as well. So after cutting, I am going to cut my lining. My lining is going to be in the same fabric as my main fabric. Yes. So here I have two pieces for the back and two pieces for the front. So it's sewing time. So here I am placing right side facing each other. So that's the front right side are facing and the back right side are facing. So I just went ahead and pinned that in place. Then I'm going to sew the ham holes and the neckline. Yes, I am not sewing the shoulder line here, just the ham hole and the neckline. After sewing, I am just going to notch. Yes, it looks weird that I didn't get the part that I notched the neckline. And short notch both your neckline and your ham hole. After that, I am going to be working on the front. Yes, to the front, I am turning it right side out. Yes, while well, the back is untouched after sewing, except for the notching, the front I've turned it right side out and I'm pressing it. I am pressing my front piece so that the seam lies flat. So it's time to pass the front through the back. So I just lift it up and pass it. If you are using different fabric for your lining, ensure to have the right side of the lining facing each other and also the right side of your main fabric facing each other. Make sure you pass the shoulder seam through each other, the shoulder line and pin that in place. I am going to sew with my seaming allowance. After sewing, it's time to go in and clip that edge, just the corners, so that it lies flat when you turn it right side out, like so. You don't want any bulk at the shoulder. So to finish off your bodice, just open the side seam Right side facing main fabric to main fabric, lining to lining. Yes, main fabric to main fabric, lining to lining. And you stitch that. By the time you stitch that in place, your bodice is pretty much ready. So set that bodice aside. It's time to work on the skirt. So this is how I fold my fabric. Yes, I'm using the paper to show. I just fold my fabric in half. And I'll be needing two of this. For my skirt, yes, I need two half circle skirts 
for this tutorial. To have the radius of my skirts, that's my half circle skirt, I'm dividing the waist measurement by 3.14. Once again, the radius is the waist divided by 3.14. On the screen, you can see all the breakdown displayed. Then the next thing is the skirt length and to get that you have to dress length minus the bodice length plus the seaming allowance you can see the breakdown of mine then to just get the full half circle thing going you have to use the total length you can see the breakdown of the total length which is the radius plus the skirt length so I am going to leave that on the screen so that you just see it. So here yeah, I am tracing both my radius and my skirt length. So I'll just cut them. Yes, once again, you need two of this. So here is my skirt. Yes, like I said, you need two of it. So ensure you have everything laid out because you'll be sectioning this. So I have my two pieces and they're the same length. So I'm placing them on top of each other. And I'm going to divide this, my skirt length into three equal parts yes three equal parts you might say yes it has hemming allowance on the down part yes i want my bubble to exceed my skirt that's why i'm doing it that way three equal parts when you are done marking the initial dots you are going to make it visible so ensure that you are doing this three equal parts so that's get length divided by three so i am going to connect this point if you did your division correctly you should have something that looks like an arc just the way you have seen on the screen Okay, so now that I have divided this for one, I am going to repeat the same steps for the second one behind. Yes, you are going to make sure that everything matches. So here I have my two skirts sectioned into three layers. Yes, and those will form my layers. I'm going to set one aside and I'll be working on one. What will I do with this one? Yes, I'm going to cut it up. So just get your scissors and you follow that line as you can. Follow that line you had marked out. As much as you can. That's why you made the line visible. So that you won't have any struggle. So now that we are done cutting, yes, keep that in place. You can confirm the, the measurement because we are going to move to the next step. Yes, for the next step, you are going to cut a long strip of fabric that is 3 to 4 inches longer than your skirt. Yes three to four inches longer in height yes in height and for the width it's going to be two times the width of your skirt if you make it 2.5 times the width of your skirt it's still beautiful but have it in mind that you will need more fabric so i use two times the width of my skirt that is for the width yes you might say what do you mean by the width of your skirt 
you are going to open the layer that you cut out and you're going to measure it yes you i measured it using the down measurement that's the widest part of my half circle but you can do yours measuring the upper part depending on how much fabric you have but i used the down that's the widest part of my half circle and i did that for the second and also for the third layer so just measure the widest part and multiply that by two and that will be the width of your strip while the length that's the height of your strip is three inches extra what you have for your skirt or should i say for your layer so when you cut your strip you are going to gather it yes you are doing this gather both ways for the upper part and also for the lower part I am going to show you how I gathered that up, how my gathered look just in a sec. So ensure to gather it because you will be sewing it to your half circle. So this is what I mean by gathering both sides. So I have gathered both the upper part of my strip and the lower part of my strip. I've gathered both the upper part of my strip and the lower part of my strip. So it's time for me to attach it to my skirt or to make my bubble hem layer. So it's time to make the bubble hem layer. So on the widest part of that your half circle, yes, if you open it up, you'll see the part that is wider. That's the down part that will be connected to the next layer if you are sewing them back together. So you are going to pin your ruffle or your gathered strip at that part. So just pin it in place. You are going to be adjusting your gather as you go. So just keep adjusting and pinning it in place. And make sure that you have right side facing each other. yes make sure that you have right side facing each other arrange it as you go so right about here you just keep painting and you're doing this for the three layers so here i'm done pinning it for the three layers so it should look something like this when opened up. Those are the right side facing each other. So you're going to be sewing on the wrong side. So now take to your sewing machine and stitch that down. And you're doing that for the three layers. So after stitching it down, you're going to place right side facing each other the ruffle or the gathered parts to the gathered part and the skirts part to the skirts part so you're going to stitch the side please it's important for you to note the seaming allowance you're going to be using to stitch this side so you're doing that for the three layers so now on your half circle you are going to pick your skirt up the seaming allowance you used is what you're going to use to sew the side of your skirt so now after stitching the bubble hem or your layers you are going to turn it over yes the open part you're going to turn it over by now you're going to have kind of like one continuous circle you're going to turn it over and you're going to stitch it in place like so 
right now it's like one continuous circle more like a donut kind of thing going on so ensure to finish your hem overlock it because it will form part of your finishing so you overlock those hems nicely as you have seen i have done it both for the three layers and this is how it looks so it's important you overlock the raw edge there are other forms of finishing a garment but we will consider that in future but for now we'll stick to the overlocking so if you have done this next is to bring in your skirts yes you can see the marking of my skirt is still present i have hemmed the down part of my skirt after joining the side of my skirt so it's time to attach the bubble hem layer to our dress you can start from the upper part you can start from the middle to attach it really doesn't matter depending on your choice but for me i am going to go with what is more comfortable for me yes so i find out that starting from the down part is more comfortable for me so i am going to tuck in the bubble hem right there at that last layer there's a down layer the widest layer i'm going to pin it in place it is important to note that when you are touching this you have to follow the line you had pre-marked yes that line you marked initially comes in handy right now it was not just to add color to your garment so you can as well go ahead and pin the whole bubble to your skirt but I didn't pin all, I just marked the center and I took to my sewing machine and just stitched that and I keep adjusting it as I go. If you used your seam allowance and you're following the line that you marked, you're not going to have much adjustment to do. It will just be to adjust the skirt so that your bubble hem will be exactly on the line you had marked that will just be pretty much what you will be doing so bubble hem number one is ready so it's time to fix the middle part so you're just going to follow the same procedure yes you tuck that in and you're going to pin it in place so here I'm checking how my second layer lies on the first one I had sewn in and it's beautiful <laughs> if I must say so myself the raw edge is concealed on the first one I had sewn in so all I did now was to just pin a part of it in place I'm going to also adjust as I go so this is just it nothing much I know some some of you that have watched my video for a while might say oh I didn't see all the sewing parts in this video yes I had to make the video a bit shorter so I took out most of the sewing parts so this one I think was important so that you know that it's not a huge struggle to put your bubble on your skirt 
so you are just going to keep adjusting it the key is to sew on your pre-marked line just make sure that you arrange your skirt that it is not twisted at a point everything just lies flat so that you also have a neat finishing on the inside since we are not lining the inside so you're going to repeat the same step for the third bubble then after that you are going to sew your bodice Yes, for the belt loop, it wasn't very visible when I looked at it because the thread is in the same color of the fabric. So if you are interested in this belt loop, let me know in the comment section and I will make a tutorial which it will be much clearer. It's time for the reveal of our dress. So this is our dress. It's quite lovely. So I had sewn in the last layer and I fixed the button. I know most people don't like button. They find it intimidating. That's why I didn't bother you with the button part. So that's a continuous placket. I use a continuous placket because I wanted a neat finish on the inside too. So this is just pretty much it. No extra lining. And also that's my belt loop I can mix and match the search for this dress yes and I'm using a removable search meaning that the color of the belt can be changed to suit the occasion that's why it's a flower girl dress if this video was helpful don't forget to give me a thumbs up Thank you for watching. I really appreciate your time and see you in the next tutorial. Love you. Stay safe. Bye for now.